told me this was going to be a simple extraction. They were waiting for me. What was waiting for me was barely human. It tore the back off my car. Grow a spine, Solo. So to start, we're going to play a game of Would You Rather, and it oh, is a movie version of Would You Rather. Okay. So first, would you rather get as many takes as you'd like or have to nail it in one shot? As many hmm. takes as I'd like. I think I'd do nail it in one shot. Nail it in one shot. Nail it in one shot. Is there anything in this movie that you had to nail in one shot? Truck thing. Yeah, that was me, though. I mean, that was, that was, a, yeah. that was a stunt guys in camera. Um, no, Guy's very generous, uh, so if, if you're... If, even if there's a time pressure, you'll say, I don't care if there's time pressure, we need to get this right. And um, we will do it sort of as slowly as needed. And even if there's a set which is being destroyed, he would say, please get it right in one shot. But if you don't, don't worry, we will rebuild the whole thing no matter how long it takes and give you a chance to do it again. I'd he knows it. when he has it, yeah, and then which he, is great. And he'll move on even when you're begging for another shot. Would you rather play a superhero or a villain? Villain. villain. Superhero is a lot of fun to play but I haven't played a super villain yet, or a villain yet, so it would be fun to do that. I would say villain. I haven't done either, uh, but I would probably say villain. I'm pretty sure it's about time you play a superhero. Huh. Would you rather act opposite a CG creature or a real animal? A uh, real, real animal? animal. Oh, real animal? Yeah, that's a tough one, because CG, you have complete control over what's happening. Yeah, there's just nothing happening, but like a real animal, like you could in the middle of the take just like take a shit, you know? <laughs> That would be very distracting, yeah. I think, as an actor. I've worked with some of those actors. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, oh, I almost I made a name joke there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, CGI stuff, I've done, I've done a lot of it, uh, so I think I'm probably more comfortable with that because you could nail a performance and yeah. you've got it. Where if you nail a performance and the dog is doing something completely different or looking at the master wrong, then you've got to do it again and again and again. Would you rather work with 20 angry PAs or one angry director? 20 angry PAs. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Any day of the week. Yeah. Twenty angry PAs. Twenty angry PAs. <laughs> angry director is like, oh, this is gonna wreck our day. Twenty angry PAs, and you're just like, I'll just ignore them and do my job like this. Would you rather get in trouble for losing a top secret script or break an expensive piece of equipment? Break an expensive piece of equipment. Breaking, Breaking an expensive, expensive piece of equipment. <laughs> Definitely. The other one is the other one is a no, lawsuit. No. <laughs> yeah, if you lose a top secret script, you are blacklisted. Yeah, it's yeah, it's worse than having to go. It's okay. This is insured. Now we have to do the insurance process. It's. Now everybody's seen the movie, we have to change everything. And even like when we read things, we have to like sign, I, I mean, I swear to God next, I'm, I, someone's gonna take a DNA sample next time I read something. Yeah, like, I even have a friend, I'm not gonna tell who, but who had a Bond script about, I don't know, more than five years ago and lost it on a plane and decided not to tell that it was lost. Um, but it never came, it never, probably someone just throw it out in the trash. Let's finish this. Things could get a little messy. Absolutely head working with you, Peril. You're a terrible spy, cowboy. Oh, and you have a new code name. Code name? Uncle. <laughs>